A new token that we've introduced is the asset token. And the asset tokens allows you to use an image URL as a fill for any layer. The way this works is we can create a new token in the assets category. And if I do that and hit the plus button, give it a name of image, and then insert any URL that points to a public asset that you have. One caveat there is that this resource needs to have its own course validation, so cross origin resource sharing. But this is something that some sites already handle. And if you don't have that yet, you can put it behind a course proxy. You can find some information in our docs. We will also continuously improve that. So these steps are not necessary. So in my example, I want to replace the fill of this layer with something else that is coming from Unsplash in our case. So clicking here, I can see there is an image fill, but I now want to replace that with another image. So let me copy a URL and paste that in the assets field and hitting create and then applying that token to this layer will fetch the image and replace it on this layer itself. Where this might be useful is if you have a page where you have a background image, a logo, and you then want to white label that. So you want to re replace both of these things between your different brands. What you can do is you can apply, just as I did here, a layer here that is of type asset. And the same is true for the background. I have two tokens here, one for the logo, one for the background. And in another set, I'm just replacing these asset URLs. So they point to something else entirely. So just by selecting this frame and applying another set, I'm able to replace the logo, but also the background image that you see over here. So this could be really useful if you do white label um, design systems or any kind of white label project where not just the colors changed, but also the assets change.